Well, 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 good evening, class. Callan. What? Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Ready? Are you ready to study? Yes, I I... the class. All right, let's start. Okay, we're going to review the use of the going to future, one of the usual. Plan actions in the future. So we use going to to talk about the future, something that we, we have a plan and we're going to do it. Example, we are going to sing at the party. You are sure you are going to do that, so you say it. You see it? Okay, plan actions in the future. You are certain that some, no, uh, one, 1. 1.2. You are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Logical consequence. Look at that car. It is going to crash into the yellow one. I so say you see it because it's gonna happen. Yeah. Signal words, no one be was one. Form to be am um, or is plus going to plus infinity. And then we have examples, but I want you to 
write up a sentence where you use this, uh, the, I mean, using a plan, a plan action, okay? This is an example, write, write something that you plan to do uh, on Sunday. Okay, please write a sentence on the chat, please, using a plan. This is my example. Follow my example. This is something I'm I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to ride my motorcycle. Very good. Okay, I'm going to buy food in the supermarket. On Monday or, or on Sunday? We only have three sentences. Five sentences, I'm not waiting for more, seven more.
I'm going to wait, wait, wait. There's something that I, I don't I don't think is okay. I'm going to music on Friday. What was that, Yolanda? Maybe I'm going to listen to music. Uh, I'm going to listen to music. Correct that sentence. Okay, teacher. Thank you. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, I'm waiting, six more. Come on, no, wait. I got 14, I'm waiting for eight more. What about the rest of the class? I got six, baby, Diana, Maria, Fernanda, Adriana, Lisette, Francisco, Javier. Let me check. Kimberly, what happened? Flor de Maria, Vanessa, Guadalupe. Gerson, Walter, come on, participate. What happened with the rest of the of the class? I'm waiting for Jenny, Walter. Participate, Walter. Lord. Oh yes, thank you, Jenny. I'm going to eat. A lot of tomorrow. The, oh, wow. <laughs> You're a big eater. No more examples. Let's go to the next one. You are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Logical consequence. Look at that car. It is going to crash into the yellow one. Okay, you see something is going to happen or you know something is going to happen as a consequence of the events. Write another example. But first of all, comprende. Comprende mucho or comprende poquito? Understand this use? Teacher, what if they finish the certain? Estás uh, certain, certain. Oh, no, wait, 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 certain. Estás seguro. Not, not, it's not the right uh, translation, but estás uh, como acertando. Acertando que algo va a pasar. Okay, teacher. Thank you. 
An example, let me let me array something. Uh, That's my example. There's a big concert tomorrow. It's going to be crowded. A lot of people crowded. I'm waiting for your example. Oh, that's a good one. You can say, look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the time as. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That is like in Spanish, right? Mira la hora. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Yeah, but it's in English we say, look at the time. Okay, we have one example. Okay. Look at the time we're going to write. Okay, thank you. Okay.
Hurry up, my friends, hurry up. Thank you, Diana. Take a shower. <laughs> Excellent. Take a shower. You're going to visit your grandmother or our grandmother. Our, nuestra. Oh, oh, we are going to visit grandma. But I like I like your your sentence, uh, Diana. Take a shower. <laughs> but it's cold outside. All right. Come on, come on. Hurry up. I only have Diana's and David's example. And you are 15. Yolanda, what happened with your example? Diana, Lor, Vanessa, Kimberly, or oh, Kimberly's again, the otra vez. One more time. Maria Fernanda, Francisco, Jacqueline, Harrison, Walter, never participate, Adriana, Merari, your sentences, please. Let me see who is it. Adriana, thank you, Adriana, and Francisco, thank you, Francisco. Tomorrow, I'm going to work with my family. Good. I just take a shower and then I'm going to the counter. Right. <laughs> okay. We're going to the concert. Thank you. I only have four sentences out of 15. In other words, we're missing 11 sentences. 
Oh, I have another one. Oh, why you didn't write that in English? Teacher, I'm in a meeting. I'll join, I'll join you in, in, in a couple of minutes. Come on, come on, your example, example, examples. Look at the time we're going to arrive to the airport at 6 p.m. Okay, Hepson, thank you. I have three sentences out of 16. We're missing 13 sentences. Come on, people, don't be lazy, participate. Participate. Oh, uh, 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 no, Yolanda. And watch, no, eso no, eso no es posible. Maybe I'm going, I'm staying at home. So I'm going to watch a movie on Saturday. Primero, teacher, se pone la acción, lo que está, lo que va a hacer y después lo, lo que se va a hacer en el futuro. Mm, es como una expresión así como... Uh, una certeza. Bueno, la certeza viene después. Pero yo pienso, I'm, I'm staying at home, ok, algo lógico. ¿Qué es lo lógico de quedarse en casa? Que puedo ver una película, ¿no? Como consecuencia. Como I am, work, I am working eh, y it's gonna pay the money. O sea, voy a, estar, voy a ir a trabajar porque me van a pagar. O algo así, ¿no? Maybe like um, I'm working extra time. Oh, okay. I'm working extra time. So I'm going to get more money. Tomorrow I'm going to para donde? with my family to the beach. Tomorrow I'm going to the beach with my family to Costa del Sol.
Okay, my, my friends, I'm going to call the attendance. And let me see where are you. Adriana Lisset Chavez. Present. Thank you. Um, Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Flor de María Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Emina Membreño. Absent. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Oliente, teacher. Okay. Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Walter Amilcar Ramirez. No answer. Jenny Carolina Tobar. No. Present. Oh, thank you. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Vaya, ahora que todos me han respondido, ¿por qué no me están respondiendo con los ejercicios? Comprender poco. Pregunten. Oh, sorry, pregunten. Escriban. Escríbame, teacher, mire, no, I don't understand this. ¿Cómo digo esto? ¿Cómo hago aquello? ¿Qué pasó? Simplemente no, no preguntan. Entonces pregunten. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Yo doy por entendido que quizás solo están conectados y no... Y, o sea, no están, pues. Solo se conectan, así hacen en la universidad. Se conectan y no responden nada. Nada, sin sí, nada. ¿Vale? Ok, let's continue. Next activity. Okay. Where are you? Oh, here. Ok, another, another. Uh, these are affirmative sentences in the going to future. Look, this is the long forms. I am going to play handball. Understand that? Oh, teacher, ¿qué le llama long form? Oh, que el verb vino está contractado. Eso es todo. That's it. In contracted form, I'm going to play handball. Another example, long form. You oh, are okay. going to play handball. Your contracted form, you're going to play handball. Understand that? The long form and the contracted form? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. ¿Qué es lo que se abrevia acá? El I am con el I am. Ah, el verb be, ¿verdad? El verb be. Verb be is contracted. Yes, you are right. Now, I want an example, a long form and a contracted form. This is very chichi, okay? Let's do it. Ahora sí, que revienta el chat.
I'm going to play soccer. Excellent, Francisco. Excellent. Esa la tenía lista, por eso la mandé así. Contract form. Look at the books here. We're going to learn a lot. Oh, that is like a, a pre, the previous example. The anterior one. Sí, ya la tenía lista en el chat. Ah, okay. Dejo okay. La, la, la very contra. good, very good. Ahora <laughs> mande la otra. Okay. I'm going to listen to music. Okay. In the contracted form. Okay, hurry up. All right. Yes, Francisco. Thank you. I'm going to go to the cafe, to Cafe Talon on Saturday. I'm going, yes, I am going to my mother's, um, to my mother's, what? To my mother's house? Or oh, I'm going to visit my mother? Visit. Okay, I'm going to visit. It's going to be a beautiful day today. The sky is so blue. Well, all right, it's going to be, but that is like the previous one. Good example, Adriana. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Much better. Better participation. Okay, now we have the negative form. Long forms. I am not going to play handball. I'm not going to play handball. You are not going to play handball. You're not going to play handball. And you aren't going to play handball. Okay, teacher. It's so simple that we use the, the word not after the verb. Eso es todo. After the verb be, you write not, not, not. But when we use the, um, thank you, Jenny. Uh, we have like two ways to say the negative contracted form. Look, you're not and you aren't. Got it? Oh, Herson, you're not going to go anywhere. Okay, pero ese your le falta la E. Okay, so you apostrophe or E. Ese your es de tu, es el, el possessive adjective. Okay, so correct it, please. Okay, write a negative long form and a negative contracted form. Okay, you're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to play soccer. They're not going to play fair. They are an excellent example. Excellent. Let me see. Yeah. 
person. We're not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to talk about this report. Okay. I have another. Diane, I'm not going to go to the beach. I'm not going to go to the beach. Sorry for you. I have a, I have three more. Let me check. Tomorrow I'm not going to go to work. Tomorrow I'm not going to go to work. I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I am not going to visit my family. I'm not going to visit my family. Lord de Maria, I'm not going to go to the cinema tomorrow. I'm not going to go to the movies. Okay, thank you. I'm going to my friend's party. You're going to work today. I'm working right now.
I'm not going to eat pineapple. I want melon. I'm not going. I'm not going to eat pineapple. I want melon. Okay, Adriana. Okay, you want melon? Okay. Okay, let's change. Now, right now we have questions. Questions in the going to future, long forms. Contracted forms are not possible in questions. So um, am I going to play handball? Are you going to play handball? Are you going to visit your mom? Are you going to party tonight? Write a question, please. One question right now. Are you going to the park? Thank you, Diana. Are you going to the park? Are you going to finish the platform tasks? Oh, that's a good question. My teacher. Are you going to the Christmas party? Yes. I'm going to go to eat and dance.
Okay. Are you going to work tomorrow? Are you going to do your homework? Are you going to the beach? Ah, uh, but aquí, Yolanda, you're using what? Okay. What are you going to buy? Are you going to the party on Saturday? Okay, thank you, and let's continue. This is do not mix up the present progressive. The present progressive is the present continuous. So if you're going to use going to for the future is, is going to read the book in a future time. And the present progressive says that, it, that he is reading the book right now. So don't get confused with those tenses, okay? Understand? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Es que no entendí, teacher, ¿qué dijo? Ah. Okay. El going to, we use going to for future, right? Okay. Okay. Y el present continuous lo usamos para cosas que están sucediendo en el momento. Uh -huh. Decía el ejemplo. He's going to read a book. To okay. read. To Ajá. read. To read. No, 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 no es que sea correcto. No es que no hay que confundir los tiempos. Oh, wow. okay. okay. Una cosa es decir, he's going to read a book. Y otra cosa es decir, he's reading a book. Oh, ok, ok. Una es que va a leer y la otra es que está leyendo. I am reading a book. Uh -huh. Let's continue.
Okay. Okay, I want you to study this chart. See the, the, the structure, the pattern, auxiliary, subject, going to, verb, and the rest or the complement, okay? Yes, no, subject and auxiliary. Then the question with words in the going to with future. Question word, okay, me estudian los dos, los dos formas in groups, okay? If you understand something, if you don't understand, ask your partners, okay? Ask your partners and then we come back and work with another activity. Let's go.
Ring. Ring. Ring.
Okay, now, do you understand the patterns? Si ¿Sí entendieron el primero? Do you understand the first yeah. pattern? See? ¿Sí? Verb be, subject, going to. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And the second one? Yes, teacher. Question where? Verb uh, be, subject, and going to, and then the main verb. Okay. Como comprendieron, mándeme una. Uh, one question with the first, with the auxiliary, and okay. one question with the question word. Okay. One and one. Okay, teacher. Okay. In the chat. Are you going to play soccer? Okay, where are you going to play? Excellent, Francisco. Are you going to eat pizza? Where are you going? Excellent. Good. Good, Diana. Are you going to the park tonight? Where are you going to go? Mm. David, um, maybe where are you going to go tonight? No tiene, no tiene sentido preguntar, where are you going to go to the park? La pregunta es, teacher, ¿cuándo vas a ir al parque? No uh -huh. sé si te, eh, le escribí mal, quizás. Ah, where are you going to the park? Pero si yo pongo, where are you going to the park? Ya no uso el going to. Y estamos usando el going to. Ahorita la cambio. Where are you going to the park? O oh, déjelo así. When are you going to the park? Ok. Ese go, de, quitémoslo. Ese go y ese to, demás que está. Go to.
Are you going to play tonight? Are you going to see a movie? Mm -hmm. Where, when are you going to go to your grandparents? Okay, that's a good one. Where are you going to spend your vacation? At home, no money. Everybody okay? Okay, let's go to another activity. This is a listening. Ahorita les explico, okay? This is an activity. Dice, Heather is talking to a friend, to her friend Clive. Heather's brother, Terry, is coming to visit so we, this weekend and she's talking to Clive about what Terry is going to do during his, his visit. Answer the following questions. Okay, ah, uh, teacher, where are the questions? En el, aquí, mire. What time does Heather's brother arrive in town? 7 p.m., 9 p.m., 8 p.m., etc. okay? Where is he flying from? Okay, you can stop me if you don't understand the questions. Okay, where is he flying from? Understand that question? Okay. De donde vuela? De donde viene? Where are they going to do on Thursday evening? Mm -hmm. Mm 
go to a restaurant, stay at home, go to visit friends, go to Melbourne. Four, how long is Terry going to stay with her? Two weeks, until Friday, until Monday, a week. Five, what are the plans for Friday afternoon? Six, where is the Mexican restaurant? 17th Avenue, 27th, 7th, or 57th Avenue? Where are they going to have lunch on Saturday? In 7th Avenue, in Central Park, in the museum, in a Japanese restaurant. And eight, what surprise that Heather have for her brother? Okay, teacher, ¿y qué vamos a hacer? What are you going to do? You are going to listen the recording. We're going to listen and you're going to take note. Okay? Understand? Okay, teacher. All right. Vamos a bajarle velocidad. So you can understand. Vamos a escucharlo. We're going to listen twice. Okay, two times. Ready? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Are you listening? No. No? Oh, okay. No, teacher. Wait, 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 wait. Siempre pasa. Okay. Hey, Heather. When is your brother getting into town? On Thursday at 8 o'clock in the evening. Are you going to do anything together that night? No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to having him here. How long is he going to stay? Only till Monday. Then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So what about Friday? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday morning, and then in the afternoon, we are going to the beach with some of my friends to have a picnic. I hope the weather is sunny for you. So do I. And then, in the evening? I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on 7th Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah, but I thought it was very difficult to book a table there. Not if you know one of the waiters it isn't. Then, on Saturday morning, we are going to go to the Metropolitan Museum. They've got an exhibition I know Terry will be really interested in. And then we are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of shopping. It seems strange to come all the way back from Australia to do some shopping. Yes, I know. But there are some things he wants to buy. I'm meeting you guys on Saturday evening at 8 o'clock, right? Oh, yes, of course. The party is at Claire's house. Come round here just before 8 and we can take a cab over to Claire's together. All right. My brother's leaving early on Monday, so Sunday will be his last day with me. We are driving up to the lakes first thing, and we are fishing all day on Sunday. It will be just like when we were young. When we come back to the city, I have one extra surprise for him before he leaves the next day. Oh, tell me what it is. 
okay, but promise not to say anything to him. We're going to see a basketball game. It was so difficult to find tickets, but I got them. It's going to be a great weekend. That sounds wonderful. Hey, Heather. When is your brother getting into town? On Thursday at eight o'clock in the evening. Are you going to do anything together that night? No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to having him here. How long is he going to stay? Only till Monday. Then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So, what about Friday? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday morning, and then in the afternoon we are going to the beach with some of my friends to have a picnic. I hope the weather is sunny for you. So do I. And then in the evening, I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on Seventh Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah, but I thought it was very difficult to book a table there. Not if you know one of the waiters. It isn't. Then on Saturday morning, we are going to go to the Metropolitan Museum. They've got an exhibition. I know Terry will be really interested in. And then we are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of shopping. It seems strange to come all the way back from Australia to do some shopping. Yes, I know, but there are some things he wants to buy. I'm meeting you guys on Saturday evening at eight o'clock, right? Oh yes, of course. The party is at Claire's house. Come round here just before eight, and we can take a cab over to Claire's together. All right. My brother's leaving early on Monday, so Sunday will be his last day with me. We are driving up to the lakes first thing, and we are fishing all day on Sunday. It will be just like when we were young. When we come back to the city, I have one extra surprise for him before he leaves the next day. Oh, tell me what it is. Okay, but promise not to say anything to him. We're going to see a basketball game. It was so difficult to find tickets, but I got them. It's going to be a great weekend. That sounds wonderful. Okay, ready? Do you have some answers? No, number one, what time does Heather's brother arrive in town? 8 p.m. Thursday. 8 p.m. Thursday. 8 p.m. Thursday. I'm going to click here. Okay. Where is he flying from? London. London. Okay. What are they going to do on Thursday evening? Mm -hmm. Stay at home. Stay at home. Okay. How long is Terry going to stay with her? 
Two weeks. Friday. Until Friday. Until Friday. Friday. Okay, thank you. What are the plans for Friday afternoon? Picnic at the beach. Picnic at the beach? Yes. Okay. Where is the Mexican restaurant? 7th Avenue. 7th Avenue. 7th Avenue. Yes. All right. Where are they going to have lunch on Saturday? Central Park. Central Park. Central Park. And the last one. What surprise does Heather have for her brother? Basketball match. Basketball match. Okay. We're going to mark the answers and see if you are okay. Hey, you scored six out of eight. Number one, correct. Number two, incorrect. Actual answer was Melbourne, not London. Okay. Number three, correct. Four, incorrect. Actual answer was until Monday, not until Friday. And then you have five correct, six, seven, and eight correct. All right. Melbourne and until Monday. Okay, thank you. Did you like this exercise? Yes. Okay, now I have another activity for you. Oh, sorry, let me see what time, time for the attendance. Attendance, attendance, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Attendance here. Adriana Lisette Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Absent. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Karen Gemina Membreño. No. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present. Walter Amilca Ramirez. Absent. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Perez de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. The next activity. On the next activity. Ta -da 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 -da. This is the next activity. You are going to write a five sentence paragraph using going to. Okay, but the topic is Christmas. What are you going to do on Christmas? Understand? Yes. Okay, now it's your time to write. Write it on your notebook, okay?
I'm going to give you four minutes. Finished. Okay, wait. Wait for your partners. You're finished. Let me see. Diana, finish? Yes, teacher. Yolanda? <coughs> David? Everybody finish? David? Lord? Merari? Vanessa? I'm finished, teacher. You're finished? Everybody finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, we're going to do something different. Okay? We're going to uh, 
read our paragraphs and you're going to choose the best Christmas after you do the activity when you come back to the class you're going to say what is the best Christmas in the group understand no teacher no teacher ok van a leer verdad yes van a elegir cuál es la mejor oh. and then you're gonna tell the class let's go Vamos a elegir una de las del párrafo de cada quien yes. haya hecho. Escogemos uno. Ya. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. The best Christmas for you, in your opinion, okay? Let's go. Thank you. 
Okay, in your opinion, group number one, what was the best or what is the best Christmas? Who are you talking about? I can't number was number one. Is, it was Gerson, Jacqueline, Kimberly, Maria Fernanda, Sergio, I mean, David and Walter. Is Sergio the best Christmas? Okay, Sergio, read it. No definir eso, pero okay. <laughs> De, de, de democráticamente no Sergio sí la fue la, la suya fue la mejor was the best Sergio was the best okay use English please Sergio was the best o Sergio at Christmas ajá uh -huh. at Christmas I'm going for a walk in the morning then we're going to have breakfast has a family. Mm -hmm. At noon, we are going to cook lunch. Then we are going to have lunch. And at night, we are going to visit our family. All right, thank you. In group number two, we had Adriana, Flor, Francisco, Juan Carlos, and Vanessa. What is the best Christmas in that group? Teacher, nuestro grupo solo era de tres. Dele flor, diga el suyo. Ah, el suyo voy a decir. <laughs> Estaba mejor. Ok. Permítame. I am going to uh, ah, at the Christmas at the Christmas I am going to add work I am going to go to family the beach I am going to eat a lot I am going to watch TV I am going to play soccer mm -hmm. 
Yes. And... All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no more. Finish, teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Flor. No thank you. And the last group: Diana, Carla, Merari, Jenny, and Yolanda. It's okay, teacher. Uh -huh. My family celebrations Christmas at home. Mm -hmm. We cook turkey in tomato sauce. We receive a busy from family and we share the food mm -hmm. on Christmas. Eve, we sleep in the early morning. All right. And on December uh, 26th, we visit the beach. Good, good, good plans. All right. Okay, my people, um, I think we're finished and I think now you understand the use of going to. Yeah. Using going to is for plans. Or things that you're going that you know that are going to happen. Okay. Just practice. Okay. And I hope you like the class. Any questions? No. No questions. No questions. One Only. question, teacher. Uh -huh. este, el viernes terminamos clases. Yes. O hasta el martes 20. No, viernes. Ah, ok. Graduamos. Correcto, correcto. Ok, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello. <laughs> Thank you.